Hi, welcome to Creations Art Camp Quarantine Edition. I'm Sierra. This is my friend Evelyn. Today we are making edible art. The supplies you will need are food coloring. We're using gel food coloring because it works the best, but any food coloring is fine. Plastic spoons or something to mix with. Bowls or a container. Something to measure with. Paint brushes, sugar, and water. And our canvas, canvas will be bread. <laughs> Let's get started. Now we are getting out the bowl. There are gonna be three for each of us. We're gonna do six colors. Now, we pick our colors. Which colors do you wanna do? Okay. Take our thing to measure with and gonna do equal parts in each bowl. You can do that. <laughs> if you're doing multiple, make sure to remember which ones you already put sugar in. Now let's add our water. I would say do warm water because then the sugar could dissolve more. I'll do that in a minute. We should now we mix. You shouldn't need too much because if you do too much, then you'll have a bunch of leftovers. Now we add our food coloring. Add as many drops as you like, would like. You just need a little bit if you want it to be super dark. This one. That should be enough. Now let's mix. You didn't need that much. That's definitely gonna turn our mouth to color. No. Now we have a navy blue and a light blue. Okay, next we get our canvas. Mom, will you hand us our canvas? Now we have our canvases and we put a paintbrush in each color and now we can start painting. I'm gonna start with baby blue. Like it's okay, we can shoot. Now you can paint anything on this, on the bread. 
and then, well, just have fun with this because I usually have fun. I've done this craft a lot when I was younger, and so I shared it with y'all, and I just had a lot of fun. Side. This is my first thing that I painted. Mm. Here, this is how I painted it. When we're all finished, we will have to eat it. And then it's going to be real good because it's just sugar water. <laughs> Who doesn't love sugar water? See, this is why we said you only really need a little bit. Evelyn has been using a lot of yellow and there's still a bunch there. Probably can't see it. There's still a bunch of yellow still there. And we've been using a lot. Evelyn's been using a lot of yellow, which is good. So now we can show you that there's still a lot left of yellow. My mouth is going to be different colors. Mm -hmm. My mouth too. Yeah. <laughs> My mouth is going to be that color. Oh, that's going to be sugar water on my hands and it's really sticky. Oh, this is my second one. That was my second one. That was my second one. Now I'm on my third one. This was my second one. Then my mouth will be green instead of green. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add a little. It, it, yeah, this one's gonna be good to eat, and it's all soggy in the middle. There's mine. I have to kind of bend it. There you go. Sorry, it's really soggy in the middle. So you can go back and add more stuff to the other ones if you still have a little more room and if you wanted to add to your tongue. Now that we've finished, now we can have our feast. I'm gonna do No, this one. I am gonna fold mine in half. I am too. <laughs> to the dentist yesterday, so. <laughs> Does it taste good, girls? 
Mm. It tastes really good. It tastes like bread and sugar. <laughs> and when, if you want your tongue definitely to turn colors, just take it. paper or cardboard.